Hello guys and girls, in this video we're going to be looking at this beautiful lighter. It is antique for sure, very old piece. If I were to think as to where you would use this, you would probably have this maybe as a central piece, maybe on a table by TV or in a family room. Back in time in 50s and 60s and 70s and maybe 80s when people were smoking or maybe even 1920s, who knows? I don't know how old this thing is. Actually, I think there is a year, but I don't remember what it is just on the back there. We'll take a look at that, but that's how it looks. So the way this works is you see there's like a little pin there and then there's another pin there and then it has like a curve and then this is the button. So you would push this and the light would come up. So it literally would snap like that and then the flame would come out and it would uh, be used to light the cigarette or something. So that's my, all of those are my assumptions. I think that's how this would work. I don't know much about it and there's some writing on the back there. We'll take a look just behind over there. But I just wanted to show you the piece. Based on my testing, this is silver. So we'll take a look at it, but this is how it's looking. So this is the back. And then again, you would push this would come up like that so it looks from the top and then just this side and then the bottom for some reason it has two knobs there i usually know the lighter has only one but this one has two so if you know why there's two or if you're familiar with this piece again that's how it's looking please let me know i'd be happy to find out some more information about it that's how it's working well anyway let's make our marks wait a second i want to read what it says in the back so there's a lot of writing right there i'm gonna read it to you and then i'll tell you the story about it so on the back it says says Ronson, R-O-N-S-O-N, and then it says New Ark, New Jersey, USA, and then it says U.S. Patent, R-E-N-19023, and then it says expires June 12, 1952. I'm assuming that's a date for the patent expiry, and then it says Canada Patent 2881482898889, and then again it says Ronson, R-O-N, NSON. Then it says Crown, C R O W N, and then it says Trademark. So that's the only writing that I found on this piece. It's just right there. Actually, I'm lying. There's some writing on this knob and on that knob, but it's so worn out that it's almost impossible for me to tell you what it is. I think on the big one it says Phil here and on a small one i can't see anything there i think here it says at the top this part it says fill and this one says here so i'm assuming you would put probably gasoline in here or something like that and if the patent expiry is 1952 and i know the patents live about 17 years these days i'm not sure how long they were living for before so let's assume they were living for about the same time so that makes it 1952 so minus 17 years so there you go so it's about 19 30 roughly plus minus couple years so i would say that's where this lighter is from from that era again if you're familiar with this piece if you know what it is please let me know i'd really appreciate that would be very nice to know where it came from and how these were sold and looked back in time all right let's go ahead and start enough chatting i'm already talking for four minutes so let's make our marks so i'm going to be using uh maybe let's do the back i already scratched here a little Bit, so we're gonna continue let's make a couple big marks and there we go mark number one nice and big I'm gonna go back and forth on it a little bit and this lighter got a bit of a funny story here so when I saw it first time at the store I looked at it and I was like oh that just another broken lighter I didn't pick it up and then next week I happened to be in the same store and I asked the lady, I said, isn't that the same lighter from the week before? And she told me, yeah, that's exactly the same piece. And I said, well, nobody picking it up. And she said, yeah, nobody even looking at it. And I said, well, that's interesting. So I asked her to take a look at it. I said, well, it looks to be like a real nice piece. And she said, well, nobody cares about it. We're probably gonna garbage it eventually. And I said, well, how about I take it? And I decided to take it. Kinda, I looked at the shades. I looked at the colors. I brought it closer to the window to get some natural sunlight on it. So I paid for this one 22 or 20, 22.99 or 23.99, something like that. Basically around $25. 
dollars and I did decided to take a risk but this thing is very heavy actually this is probably close to 400 grams 300 grams maybe 350 it's very heavy so I figured you know what if it's real piece that would be amazing and if it's not well it's only $20 let's take our 18 carat apply it and take a look and by the way lady told me that this thing was sitting in the store for about a month almost a month over 20 days she said and i saw it basically two weeks before first and then next week and the last week i uh, picked it up all right let's uh, apply our 18 karat acid and take a look what's gonna happen here i'm going to do let's do a couple drops one and two and three there we go we did three drops let's see what's gonna happen there okay so that is is looking very nice and blue let's see if I can adjust this for you a bit there we go so that's the lighter tell me what do you think do you think it looks real do you think it's fake I'm just trying to give it a minute to see if it's gonna start turning purple part of my testing is this gonna turn purple or not it was blue now it's white and it's sitting there I do not see it turn purple it just sits there by the way this lighter has no stamps anywhere that I have noticed that says sterling or 9 to 5 or anything like that whatever I read you that's exactly what's on the lighter there's nothing else well it's still looking white blue to me in the camera it's looking blue but again I'm outside looking at the camera screen it's not a good indicator let me know in the comments how you guys seeing this yeah it's just sitting there I think now I'm starting to see a little a bit of purple well like a five percent purple maybe ten percent now maybe just my eyes the more I look at it the more purple it looks to me well anyway I think we should wrap up the video there's no point staring at this thing for ten minutes but that's what it is so when you walk through the stores and you see something like this please stop for a minute and take a look at it it could be something nice heavy and amazing and you could actually get yourself some money out of it I'm probably gonna keep this piece for a while for myself maybe I'm gonna have time to fix how it works I think it needs to be taken apart maybe cleaned properly and maybe I'll polish this to make it look nice and pretty but that's what it is I think the acid started to turn blue on me here for some reason I think it's blue and maybe a little bit purplish yeah it looks blue there we go well anyway thank you very much for watching really appreciate it give video a like subscribe to the channel when you subscribe click likes it helps the YouTube apparently to share the videos or something I don't know all the YouTube secrets but apparently more people are gonna be able to see it. that's what I have learned recently so there we go click those buttons it's gonna help share the video so more people are gonna be able to see this beautiful piece and hopefully one of you or I hope all of you will find this particular piece for yourself again it is nice and beautiful and it's very heavy like probably at least 300 i'm just trying to yeah it's probably at least 300 grams it's very heavy thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one